Welcome back to another episode of the Carolina Panthers franchise, the franchise where we try to change the course of history and turn the worst team in the 2023 NFL season into a somewhat uh, serviceable mid-tier team, something like that. That's what we're aiming for. Seven season wins is the target. Uh, that is way more than the Panthers managed to achieve this season. The team actually isn't really that horrible. We just have to acknowledge that we have a lot of key injuries. We've got a lot of really weird staff decisions uh, uh, currently on the roster. Um, and um, that we just have a few developmental players in here as well. Um, and they just hinge too much on uh, on Bryce Young. And, and that draft pick, that was just the the main mistake that they made. Um, I made him a start of trade player. If you look at him, he's not horrible. And I think it is, it is warranted um, to still give him the benefit of the doubt that this team that he was placed in is just really too bad. And if he were to be probably put in a better team in a better position, he could perform better. All right, so we're just going to put that out there. This week, we are going to be playing the Seahawks away uh, at Lumen Field. It's, of course, going to be a lot of stuff to do. We're going to be taking a look at the team. We're going to be doing weekly strategy and all that. But we also have a mock draft one. We've got 27 players who are ready to negotiate. We've got a forecast of heavy rains. And we've got the regional focus scouting. And I just think what this team needs is a complete refresh. All right. We just have to acknowledge the fact that we can't really compete uh, uh, with the teams out there um, long term. All right. I think what we have right now is we had two good, uh, two pretty decent uh, games here um, that we managed to win against teams that weren't able to really perform uh, well. But it's, it's in no way, shape or form an indication of how good we really are. So when you look at the uh, the players that want new deals, um, we've got Brian Burns, Jeremy Chin, Dion Jones, Frankie Louvu, DJ Chark Jr., LaVisca Chenault Jr., Chris Wormley, CJ Henderson, Yitu Cross Mattis, Shaquille Griffin, Tristan Hill, Raheem Blackshear, Emir Smith Marset, Sam Franklin Jr., Marquez, uh, Marquise Haynes Sr., Tay Davis, Stephen Sullivan, and so on and so forth. This list just continues to go on. All right. And um, the funny thing here is that uh, there are a few positions that we just really need to focus on, on getting them right. I think Raheem Blackshear is a player that we don't have to hold on to. I think Miles Sanders and Chuba Hubbard are more than capable of just kind of keeping the flow going here for the uh, foreseeable future, especially Chuba Hubbard is, uh, is one that I will be making my running back number one. Um, looking at the fullback Giovanni Ricci again, we can get any fullback. I just want to have a dedicated one, so we're not going to be doing anything here. Uh, the wide receivers, question marks. All right, DJ Chark Jr. and Lavisca Chenault Jr. and Emir Smith Marset. None of these wants to stay. The only one I would really consider signing is Lavisca Chenault Jr. Um, he does want 14.6 uh, for three years, which would be around five mil cap hit per season. Um, DJ Chark is a little bit on the older side in terms of a comparison to LaVisca Chenault. So, yeah, there we go. Tight end, Steven Sullivan. Yeah, heck no. Don't see this one going anywhere. Um, left tackle, David Sharp. Again, 27.60. No thank you. Uh, left guard, Il Manning. This is a rookie. Um, and Justin McCray. Justin McCray, certainly not. Um, Il Manning, I could see this one here working, right? I could see this one here working. Um without even overpaying too much um, we could get him within one year i think we could get him close to i don't know 65 67 something like that serviceable but service certainly not a real prospect for the future right at center luckily nobody so we don't have to worry about that right guard is pretty much set um right tackle there is nobody here that wants a new deal so that is positive um looking at defense all right we've got chris wormley here who wants a new deal Certainly don't see this one happening, if you ask me. Deshaun Williams, same thing. I, the left edge position is just so horrible. I don't want to have anybody of these two uh, even looking at the position sideways. Uh, LeBron Ray, right edge, 25-62. Decent backup to Derek Brown, but is he really a player that we need to pay? I don't know. I don't think so. We can get free agents uh, without any problems of the same overalls. So I think we're just going to be 
deep diving into UDFA. D tackles Tristan Hill 25 and 69 currently. Henry Anderson, that's a hard pass. But Tristan Hill, I do feel like he could help us out here. Um, he's 25, 69 rated, a scheme fit. So two to three years, he could get to a mid 70, something like that. Maybe even high 70. I do think that would warrant a new deal. Left outside linebacker is Marquis Haynes Sr. Uh, his re-sign interest is mediocre. Uh, from his side, from my side, it's a hard pass. Looking at mid linebackers, Dean Jones, 28 and 76. This is one that I'm really thinking hard about because he does have a certain value to us. Frankie Louvu, I want to keep him around for sure. Uh, Tate Davis, uh, question mark. Kemu Gruzerhill, super big question mark. To be honest, neither of these are players that I really want to keep around. But Frankie Louvu and Dion Jones are actually two that I wouldn't feel horrible about uh, negotiating with. Right outside linebacker Brian Burns, this one really hurts, all right? I would have to overpay him so badly, right? Six years, 80 mil. That's around 8 mil per, uh, per season. Uh, if I were to try to get him to stay, I would overpay. I would have to put 10 mil in there at least. Um, he certainly is a big part of how our defense will work in the future. So I do think he, he deserves a new deal, but we're going to have to figure this one out here. Yet to grow Smatis. Um, again, I, I, I think that he has a role to play. And Eku Leota is a player that is just a little bit too low in the overalls. I want to see how he develops. I think that he could help us out. But again, we could just as well just let him go. I don't really think that we need to hold on to him. CJ Henderson, for sure. I want to keep him around. Shaquille Griffin. Well, if we get a good deal, then yes. Troy Hill, that's a no. Chasey Horn, that's a freaking hell yeah. Uh, but we just have to accept the 50-year option on him. So we need to reserve 9.9 uh, .9 mil uh, total next season. Otherwise, we can't pay him. So that's important to remember. Sam Franklin Jr., 27 and 70. That's a hard pass. Don't think that we really need to hold on to this dude. And uh, Jeremy Chin, that's one that I think we should keep around. I don't think that we will be able to, though, because his resign interest is super low. Four years, that's around five mil per year. Um, I will have to overpay, so six to seven mil. Uh, there we go. Kicker and punter, those are not positions that I'm really worried about, but I will just be going through these now um, and just showing you the progress that I'm making here. All right, quick recap. Uh, I offered uh, uh, the players uh, the contracts that I felt were warranted. All right. Um, we, of course, uh, Brian Burns declined. Jeremy Chin was kind of, yeah, I like it, but I just need a little bit more. We just need to offer a little bit more money here. DJ Chark didn't get an offer. LaVisca Chenault, same thing. He was like, yeah, I would accept, but I don't know if I'm sure. So I just need a little bit more money. Chris Wormley uh, didn't offer. Shaquille Griffin didn't offer. 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 So I didn't offer all of these dudes something. Uh, some of these probably would have accepted, but I just don't see the point in that. I really think that we need a fresh start overall. And looking at the money that Brian Burns wanted to have, all right? Um, I was looking at it, it was around 13 mil per season, going up to 16 mil. And that is just more money than I have. I couldn't even afford one more player here with the cap room that we have next season. So I will be looking to trade Brian Burns right now. I feel like he deserves that because he is a really, really elite player. I really like him. I would love to keep him around, but it would be unfair to keep him in this team that is really in, rebu in rebuild mode pretty hard. Um, so, yeah, what we want to do now is uh, I will be looking for trade offers, um, realistic trade offers. I want to I wanna have some 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 picks here i really think that that the panthers just need uh picks here you know the best deal for us uh, to be honest but uh yeah the interest wasn't as high as i expected well kind of staying within the limits of this uh of this franchise series here uh sending to the lines brian burns sixth round fifth round pick for this uh season uh for this season's draft and we are receiving a second and third round. I felt like we needed more draft capital for the earlier rounds um, to kind of bring in good players there. We don't have a first round pick. That really hurts us. Um, uh, but uh, Brian Burns gets a shot at uh, playing in the Super Bowl here with a very well built team, actually. Uh, super solid defense. Um, and uh, yeah, I really think that we owe this to him. 
Bryce Young. It looks like it's going to be raining for the entire game this week and probably won't take long for the conditions to get pretty sloppy. What's our plan on offense? We're going to run the ball with a slick football and rough footing. It'll be hard to establish a good rhythm in the passing game, so practice your handoffs because we're going to be doing a lot of it this week. Right, so we have to reach that target here and you're grounded. Beat the Seahawks, rack up 150 plus rushing yards. I think that is doable, actually. I think that is doable. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Seahawks now just to figure out uh, what their team looks like. And then we will be taking a look at uh, the weekly strategy, of course. Geno Smith, leading quarterback here, 32 and 78. Drew Locke and Matt Corral are uh, here as well. Matt Corral, formerly on the Panthers team, uh, he was let go. Uh, then I think he, didn't he join the New England Patriots as well? And then he kind of dropped out from there. It was really strange. Whatever. Geno Smith is the uh, quarterback here. The running back, Kenneth Walker the third, superstar Dave Trade player, absolute fantastic running back. Zach Charbonnet, that's a rookie. DJ Dallas and Kenny McIntosh, another rookie, uh, making up the remainder of the running back group here. Kenneth Walker III had a really fantastic stellar first rookie season. Fullback is Nick Bellore, 34-62. Wide receiver Tyler Lockett out injured. We've got DK Metcalf, the X-Factor here, 25-87. Jackson Smith and Jigba, one of the rookies from the 23 draft. Dwayne Eskridge, 26-73. Jake Bobo and Dariki Young. Bobo, by the way, is also a rookie great name uh yeah i'd really say this is a very good wide receiving group um Tyler Lockett is injured but DK Metcalf is fantastic Jackson Smith and Jigba very very good prospect and the other as well just decent backups tight end Noah Fant 25 78 Will Disley 27 76 Colby Parkinson and Brady Russell that's another rookie here on the tight end group Noah Fant uh, was part of the trade for Russell Wilson and uh, this is just a really good looking, uh, good looking tight end group. The offensive line: Charles Cross, 22-80; Chuck Curran and Raekwon O'Neal, another rookie. Just the backups here. Charles Cross, certainly uh, the leader in this room here, much deserved. Damien Lewis, 26-76; Anthony Bradford, another rookie out of LSU. Uh, Damien Lewis looks solid, 26-76, so that's okay for me. At center, we've got Ryan Bates. Uh, 2673, solid center, nothing crazy here. Evan Brown and Olu Segun Olu Watimi. There we go, brought that out in the first try. <laughs> some of these names, man, some of these names. Um, just a backup, uh, nothing too promising, I would say. Phil Haynes at right guard, 2769, and McLennan and Curtis, another rookie. And uh, on right tackle, Abram Lucas, 24-78. And Jason Peters, who's 41-73 and 73 only. I mean, what a young dude, right? Stone Forsyth, 25-61. Uh, I'm, I'm really amazed that they haven't cut Jason Peters, but whatever. Abram Lucas is the starting right tackle here. Looks good enough. On defense, we've got Tremont Jones, 26-78. And Miles Adams. Right edge is Leonard Williams, 29-82. We've got Mario Edwards, 29-70. And Mike Morris, that's a rookie, but is injured. Um, and at the tackle, Jerron Reed, 27, uh, 29 and 77. Brian Moon is 27, 68 and injured. And Cameron Young, that's a rookie. Um, so looking at that front three, not too crazy. Solid enough, I would say. But again, nothing nothing out of this world. Boye Maffet, 24, 77. Derek Hall, that's another rookie here. Middle linebacker, Bobby Wagner. Great player, mentor. Jordan Brooks, another great player. Really breaking it. These two are going to be crazy good. Devin Bush. Another fantastic player, Drake Thomas, that's a rookie. John Radigan and Patrick O'Connell, um, another rookie down there. Backup players, but those three here, especially Bobby Wagner, really looking super solid. Right outside linebacker, Eugene Wosu is injured, so Daryl Taylor, 26-73, will be taken over here. Cornerback, Tariq Woolen, 24-87. Devin Witherspoon, 22-84, that's a rookie. I think that's the only rookie that got a Pro Bowl, not if I'm not mistaken mike jackson senior trey brown and rt burns are also in this room here uh, but these two up top really very very good free safety quandra Diggs, 30 and 84 kobe bryant 24 72 and jerick reed the second 23 and 66 that's another rookie quandra Diggs, certainly veteran and a very solid dude here strong safety jamal adams if he had a special death trade he would be even better but i think the rating of 84 is pretty much uh, uh deserved Ty Okada, that's a rookie. The kicker, Jason Myers. And the punter is Michael Dixon. So there we go. Where does that leave us in uh, this uh, preparation for a rain game? Well, it doesn't really change it a lot. Uh, we knew what was coming. 
uh, we will try and disrupt the pass because if they go for that they will have really hard conditions um, going to be doing backup trading for the left edge players uh, we're going to be doing some uh, started trading for right edge some uh, started trading for d tackles uh, left outside linebacker d tackle uh, mid linebackers maybe let's uh, go with a split rating here i like that right outside linebacker let's go with a split here you took ross matters now nah, let's go with the starter quarterbacks are splits uh this is gonna be a starter and this is gonna be a split of course offensive game plan how do we approach this uh run it inside of course that is the game plan player uh health how about training starters for bryce young running backs uh i'm gonna be going for splits here wide receivers let's go for splits just get as much experience into these dudes as we can uh, you can make one with starter, left guard, yes, 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 and yes. So, starter training for the entire offensive line. Apart from that, not a lot that we need to choose here. Uh, we're going to try to approach 200 plus rushing yards. We need that anyways. 20 points, 300 offensive yards, 450 offensive yards. Let's just go for this. Let's be aggressive. All right, Chuba Hubbard, now injured with turf toe. That actually sucks. As is Eku Leota, right outside linebacker. Uh, both injured in this training session uh, is gonna hurt because we need those yards and Chuba Hubbard is a big big part of how we get the run game going uh, the foot fracture dude and, and all of those down below there's nobody that we can bring back yet I'm gonna say that yet um, some of which again I said I want to bring him back some of which I really could care less if they stick around in the injured reserve list for a uh, prolonged uh, time um, the question is, we traded away um, Brian Burns. Do we do we drag up a player from the practice squad? Is there anybody in there that really looks like he should get a shot at this? Maybe one of the two running backs, Kirk Merritt or Jordan Mims. I don't really think that they really look like it. Plus, we already have enough players in there already. So we're going to leave it as is. I'm not going to be doing anything else. Uh, let's just dive into this game now and play this game against the Seattle Seahawks away at Lumen Field. So here we are, Lumen Field, home of the Seattle Seahawks. And here we go. Kenneth Walk the third, 150 rush yards last week. Pretty scared about this one here. I mean, not scared, but at least I do have a little respect for him. Here we go. Adam Thielen. Our defensive players showing off the away uniforms. And uh, we're heading out. I don't see the rain. I don't see the rain that they put out there. But still, we have to go for the run game here. That's another fun bug in Madden. Uh, they say it's a rain game and then it doesn't rain. It usually rains in the week after. So let's see if this is true. Coach Stradius and Bryce Young getting ready for this game here. There we go. There we go. All right, Gino Smith hyping up his team. Kicker getting the ball. The uh, special team is ready. And there we go. We're going to receive. We're going to start at 25. And today is a horrible rain game. It's looking really bad. And yet, we're going to try and rack up those 150 points. And win the game. As a side note. Boom. Hard hit. Three yards only. 65 yards last week. 97 for Chuba Hubbard. This week he's going to do all the heavy lifting alone. 26.79. Chuba Hubbard is 24. And there we go. How far can we go? Well, not too far. But we get 17 yards on that rush. Well, not entirely 17 but maybe 14 Devin Witherspoon was there inside zone run again we're just gonna force the run game here it has to happen it just has to happen tried going around but I think I actually lost some yards here not all inactives we're gonna see this for a long time now because I don't see anybody here kind of dropping out Brian Burns gets a shot out of the Super Bowl. We get picks. 
I think that is something that should have happened uh, in this uh, regular season anyways. Should have traded him. I don't think anybody was really willing to trade for him though. But you know, us holding on to him doesn't make the most sense here. So there we go. Quick reshuffle here, bringing Miles Sanders back into a running position. Game day factor, more stamina, all right. Nice. Picking up that first down, we have to drag back momentum again. Because that's just what we gotta achieve today. Halfback dive. I just hope we don't pick up an injury for Sanders because that would really put a dampener. Wow. 56. Jordan Brooks with a stop. With a very convincing stop. Left hand side, inside zone. We're going to be able to bring some players back from the injured reserve list in a few weeks time. Well, Sanders going up here. Trying to just get, get something here against this very solid defense and yeah, now we kind of have to go for something else let's let's try the four verticals still gonna try and go for sanders i mean this is just a, a freaking hail mary if i ever saw one i had to go for it pressure was on and nobody was really getting free dj johnson left outside linebacker I'm not sure how i feel about this one this is a trap. Let's try the Y stick. Let's try DJ Chark Jr. All right, he completes the catch. Holds on to the ball there. Third and one at the 22. Let's go the halfback dive now. Still tired a little bit. A little bit. All right, but game day factors are a little bit wonky. So far, it's only been us playing. We have kept their uh, defense on the field permanently up to now one full quarter is what they're missing on offense and it's quite simple if you keep their offense off the field they can't score i know i know that's a revel uh, an absolute revelation thank me for that later might want to jot that one down all jokes aside it's just it's just really simple keep their uh, offense off the field waste as much time as he can while still scoring that of course is important left hand side second and 11. do we have a better play here something that i'm confident in and the answer is no jesus christ jordan brooks and bobby wagner both making us lose even more yards All right, we're gonna try a dagger here Adam Thielen, I don't really know why it's all squiggly and stuff, because we're not really there yet. There we go, that's Tommy Tremble, my starting tight end. Fighting for yards, pushing forwards, fourth and one. Question, do we go for this? I think at the five yard line we might. We might just go for this one here. Inside zone, Miles Sanders. Curve on the run here. And the two-minute warning just hits it as I want to snap the ball. All right. Well, that worked like a charm, didn't it? Inside zone. Got to go left to right. Uh, that's a first down. And that is a fumble. And that is a lost ball. I think... I think we didn't get the ball. I think the ball came loose and the Hawks got it first. Or did it tumble into the end zone? I think if it did, we're lucky. And uh, we're not lucky. Our luck just ran out, I think. Gino Smith. 380 yards on the season. Five touchdowns, one interception. Actually, not bad. Better than expected. All right. Defense turns it over. We get another shot at this. Let's go for a drive. I think the momentum is wonky as well right now. Because it was showing me the squiggly art before when we weren't there. And now that we've passed it. It's 
strange. Real strange. All right, escape option. Not going for passes. Going for a run here. We need those run yards. Good. First down. Devin Bush. I think number zero is Devin Bush. Just coming in hot here. Bobby Wagner kind of going, what you want, man? Chark Tremble. Nice. Got the ball out very quick. Only 33 yards here. Post wheel drag. Next up. I don't feel that confident, to be honest. Run or pass. We're going to go with a run play here. I think we should be able to evade Bobby Wagner, number 54. Well, Sanders should be quicker. And he actually is, so that's good. A drive left is the target area for Tommy Trimble. Sanders goes right. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, couldn't get the ball under control here. I tried to get the ball under control and then go down quickly. That wasn't happening. We've got 11 seconds to go. It's good that I'm looking at the clock right now. Almost missed that one. There you go. Smack in between. Mm. We're going to use our first time at here. It's third and seven. Do we take a field goal? Yeah, let's take a field goal. Here. Let's be on the safe side. Eddie Pinero. Perfectly timed. Puts it between the sticks. There we go. Unblockable for the defense. And we get some points on the board first. All right, we get the ball back again. Inside zone, Miles Sanders. Let's keep on running this one here. Off we go. Ooh, and it was actually a shed tackle. Now that is great. Quandre Diggs can't really catch up, but yep. <laughs> Bobby Wagner closing us down well enough. Miles Sanders doing a good job today. Really a good job. Can't even put a fault on him. He doesn't have any rest. Any rest today. And again. Can we evade here? Adam Thielen and I think this is going to be a touchdown. And yes, we are in. Well done, Miles Sanders. Also, Adam Thielen. Extra mention for that block. Super important. Super important that he got in there. Miles Sanders also getting a touchdown. Just keeping that player out there. Number 21 couldn't get back in. That's with a spoon. He does get very good over time. I don't have any doubt of that. So come on defense. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't get the extra point conversion. And we're in still in the third quarter. All right. Let's go. 73. Get a block in there. Five yards. 156 yards. How much do we need to get? Rush for 150 yards and win. Okay. So. First target, check. Second target, we still need to win this game. How do we approach this? We have to go for a touchdown. If we get that, I think we're good. Mm. Getting around number 39 probably would have opened up uh, the field again for another catch. Let's go to the halfback slam here. Straight into the fray at the end of the third quarter. We get stopped here. Looking pretty even apart from the rushing. But then again, we are not. And it's the third week in a row that we're not facing a really, really good quarterback. Things will change. I'm not trying to be pessimistic here. I'm just trying to be realistic. It is just the course of the game. And the nature of the game. If this team had a better QB facing us, we wouldn't be able to do as much damage. Our defense isn't as good. We are working with... I'm not going to say scraps, because that's, <laughs> that's something that's happening in the NFL Rejects franchise. 
But we're not working with the top of the pops here, right? And Miles Sanders gets through again, actually. Jonathan Mingo tried some blocking here. Not bad. Number 39 was there. Find a gap where there actually wasn't a gap before. Couldn't, couldn't hold the balance there. All right. So let's just let the clock run down a little bit more. Gonna go left here. Lefty, schmefty. Off we go. Number 73. I mean... It is a rookie, but he's doing extremely well. I wouldn't have given him the trust at first, but he's not really half bad. Might be an idea to keep an eye on him, right? Jeremy Chin, number eight. That's a dude that we're still in contract negotiations with. And Miles Sanders powering forward here. They call the timeout. Close zone strong, a left-hand side. Get that clock rolling. Take away their timeouts. All right, six-yard line, another timeout called. Another inside zone run is what we're going to be doing here. This time, left-hand side. Push, 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 and there we go. Third and goal, timeout called, inside zone, left-hand side. It's the final timeout. They don't have any more. And here we go. Miles Sanders is stopped. Mm, what do we do now? What do we do now? Well, first off, we're going to let the clock run down. And second, I think... I think we're going to go for a field goal. I can't really risk them scoring a touchdown in uh, the final seconds here or in, in one minute to go we have to be precise so let the clock run down a little bit longer here and now we're gonna try and get this Ooh. there you go one minute on the clock if they get a touchdown and do the two-point conversion they win. If we stop them, then it's not happening. All right, so we have to get another field goal here. We're at the 25. Play action counter, go. DJ Chark Jr. Getting into field goal range is crucial now. I don't even know what that was exactly. I pressed the circle button and Bryce Young started running. I, I don't know why he did that, though. Hmm. Do I like one of these plays? A play action double post could work out. Ian Thomas, Tommy Tremble, maybe Mingo. Go, 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 go. Oh, Jesus, man. It's just super slow. Out of reach here. Third and ten. Uh, do we try and go for overtime or do we try and force this one here? Which one do I like? Let's go with this one here. Double point slant. Tremble, Mingo, maybe Thielen. Just get in there. Get to the 50, the 40, something like that. And we should be good enough. There we go. Out of bounds, 15 seconds to go. All right. And three timeouts left. Let's just try to get closer. DJ Chark would be fantastic. I think I'm going to go for Tremble, though. Just like that. Going down. Nice. Timeout called. 10 seconds on the clock. And we're now moving into field goal range. 40 yards. Or do we try another one? Another push here. Four verticals. Let's try this one here. Can we get Tommy Tremble behind them? Or Miles Sanders? We've got the timeouts. We don't need to worry about that too much. 
All right, or let's just score a fantastic touchdown towards the end of this game. Bryce Young connecting with Tommy Tremble, our 24-year-old tight end. Nice. Very well done. And we're going to win. 19 versus 13. Good job, man. Good route. Really getting there quick. I mean, the linebackers that they have, right? Bobby Wagner is very good, but he's not that fast anymore. That might have helped us out more often than not here. And that is it. We're going to win 20 versus 13. Coach Reddy is happy. The Seahawks, not so much. Not so much. Bryce Young did well enough. The team did well enough. And again, another greedy win, but we're 3 and 0. Oh. So far, perfect season for the Panthers. Slowly but surely, we're getting in a rhythm here. 110 yards, 63% completion rate. That was good. Geno Smith was better. <laughs> uh, Miles Sanders, 224 yards, single-handedly getting what we needed. One fumble, though, towards the end zone. That hurt a little bit. Didn't uh, destroy too much here of our game plan. DJ Chark was very good in the end. Tommy Tremble stepped it up. He did have one drop. I'm not too bothered about that few solo tackle leaders total tackle leader quandry Diggs, number six he was just everywhere tackles for loss quandry Diggs, jordan brooks quandry Diggs, not bigs no sacks no interceptions and on kicking eddie pinero was perfect it seemed obvious given the conditions that the running game will play a huge role in who won who do you credit most running backs or offensive line i think i'm going to credit the offensive line i really think that they um did the heavy lifting here. Those big guys up front had a huge day. It's hard to get much push when you're standing in water every snap. Yeah, which we didn't, but who cares? So, a splash damage. We'll have plus three run block power, run block finesse for the next game. And that is it. Oh, I would have liked an experience buff, but there we go. All right. We're going to be playing the Vikings next week and then the Lions away. We're going to be meeting Brian Burns again with his new team. That's going to suck. <laughs> I'm going to put that out there. The Lions are a really hard team to beat. They've got a fantastic defense. And uh, yeah, we just have to keep a cool level head. And I think I think we should hit our season target. Should be doable. Uh, for now, I'm going to say thank you so much. Another exciting episode here in uh, this time-altering franchise series. As always, going to say thank you for being here, for making this special. Hope you enjoyed it. Do drop a like. Please subscribe. It means a lot. And as always, thanks for being here. Stay awesome. And see you next time.